all too often when you guys are out there running with an inside center, the defense just leaves a center camped in the paint. They leave that center camped in the paint, so we need to break down that zone. And the best way to break down that type of zone defense that people like to play in the park is using your mid-range game. And we're going to put that to the full test today. Hey, what's up, YouTube? You already know it's All City Live TV. And thank you for tuning in. Today, we're going to be talking about the mid-range game, the lost art in NBA basketball, the lost art in NBA 2K20. I got to tell you, a lot of defenders play way too high, and they also have a center just sitting and camping in the paint. So where's the sweet spot for you as a ball handler to be in your mid-range game, especially if the defense has perimeter defenders out there guarding you who could get around screens with Hall of Fame pick dodger. The screens ain't going to hit too hard. You want to increase your mid-range game. And I'm here to tell you that one of my new favorite badges to help increase my mid-range game is the stop and go badge. I have a, a ball handler with a high amount of ball handling, a high amount of speed, 99 speed, 99 acceleration. So it's real easy for me to get past a defender. But what's the sweet spot for me is that mid-range game right dead in the middle while the center is dead in the paint and I already passed the perimeter defender. I'm right at the foul line and I take that mid-range shot and the stop and go badge is what's going to help you guys out there. I got to tell you so many benefits I've learned from the stop and go badge. A badge that I was so intrigued by from the beginning of the year. I wanted to make this badge work for me, but I didn't know how. And so many people were telling me, you got to equip the stop and go badge. It helps you shoot better. It helps you stop quicker. It helps you set your feet quicker. And I gotta tell you, even to this day, right now, I was just in the lab practicing with a bunch of different type of playmaking badges. It wasn't until I equipped Stop and Go on Hall of Fame that I noticed the full benefits as well, man. I gotta tell you, like I said, that mid-range game is a lost art. And when you hit up on your stick right there, you stop and pop. It's just like that. And that's gonna be so... It's going to be such a determining factor for your offense, that mid-range sweet spot and how you want to increase your percentages for that mid-range sweet spot is equipping badges like difficult shots, equipping badges like stop and go to help you stop so much quicker. And I want to tell you guys what I'm using. I'm getting a speed boost out of here and then I'm typing, tapping up right there and I just pop. So I'm going to show you guys the playmaking badges that I'm working with and here's what we got. Stop and go on Hall of Fame, tight handles on Hall of Fame, space creator on gold, and ankle breaker on bronze. Now I'm trying this out, which you guys are going to see in today's live stream to see how it works out. I really want to make my mid-range game work to my team's benefit. And the way I'm going to do that is with this setup for my playmaking badges. So if you guys want to see what we're doing out there with this type of setup in our playmaking badges, come on through to our live stream. We live stream on five different platforms simultaneously every single day. That's Facebook, Mixer, Twitch, DLive, and also right here on YouTube. We would love to have you guys come out if you guys want to see how these playmaking badges work. Or if you guys got questions about badges or builds, come on through. We would love to have you come on out. I'm really going to be working that mid-range today. That's the goal for today's live stream is making that mid-range work to my team's benefit. We want to split the defense, leave that center camping in the paint because all too often when you guys are out there, running with an inside sensor using the pick and rolls and things of that nature the defense just leaves a sensor camp in the paint which I don't know why they do it, but they do it. It is what it is. They leave that center camped in the paint, so we need to break down that zone. And the best way to break down that type of zone defense that people like to play in the park is using your mid-range game. And we're going to put that to the full test today. I hope to see you guys out there. I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. And if you did, please consider subscribing to our channel as we're going to have a ton of NBA 2K20 content coming your way. I'll catch you guys on the next video.